The atmosphere at Catholic and Anglican shrines in Namgongo is one of excitement as preparations for Matters Day reach their climax. Today, the choirs assembled for intense rehearsals. Harmonious melodies fill the air, resonating through the vast expanse of the shrines. The choir is steadfast and committed as their voices blend seamlessly as they rehearse each piece with dedication. One of the coveted treasures sought by many pilgrims is holy water, known for its spiritual significance. The recently renovated area provides a more convenient environment with accessible pipes ensuring that pilgrims can easily access it. During a tour of the Anglican site, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Kazimba Mugalu, called on Ugandans to stand together, supporting each other and learn to work for themselves during these uncertain times, now that there is a threat to the aid we are receiving. When we really compromise today, we are betraying the people who are killed here. We cannot compromise. We rather keep the faith. He said, the martyrs did not sacrifice their lives for betrayal and moral compromise. We do not allow our children to be sodomized and we keep quiet because we need money. What will man gain by eating the whole world and lose life? Meanwhile, medical teams have registered a number of cases of malaria given that many pilgrims spend the night outside. The pilgrims that have stayed here since last week and they're having issues with malaria, and others have become hypertensive. So um, the biggest challenges they're also facing, some have come out complaining about ulcers. All is set at Namgongo Matas Catholic Shrine. Pilgrims from across Uganda and around the world gather here to pay homage to the Uganda Matas. Nobat Adkunda, NTV News.